In this video, we are going to add the user login and sign up so that we can start getting the user context. I will go a little fast in this video so that you now I can quickly wrap this up because there are quite a few things to handle in this video. And once that is done, we will be able to get the user context so we can plan the rest of our application accordingly. So we'll go into the database migrations and then create user table, which we will use to add our user table. And I'll just add one additional field in this to keep a track whether the user is active or not. It will be a Boolean field and I'll keep the default value to zero so that any user who is signing up is deactivated by default and only the admin can make him active. So now let's look at our routes file. Okay, um, I'll add a few routes in my application which we will require. So I will copy paste it. Here are the five routes which we will require in order to have the entire application set up for login and user sign up. The first is login, then do login. Okay, so login, we will use the welcome controller. So the first thing is create our welcome controller. This is the controller. And, you know, I'll just copy paste the code here. What we have, we have welcome controller, which extends controller. Okay, I'm using app HTTP controllers. And this is the method login page where I have pages slash login. Now, I don't have that view, so let's create it. So inside pages, I have login.blade.php. Again, I will copy paste the markup so that we don't waste time. So we are extending master. I don't have it yet, but I will create that. Then we have the section and the rest of the form is quite simple. Now we are going to post on do login. We have the CSRF field. And the rest of the things goes okay now you can see I have a sign up page which I'm linking from this okay it's a button and I say I don't have an account so yeah so you know the every bit of the code I will be committing to github so you'll be able to find it out but yeah that's how it is so that's the markup for the login form all right so now we have the login page ready now let's work on do login so i'll create that method okay i need the request object here so now i will copy paste the login code here um, all right so what are we doing here we have post data in which i'm collecting all post uh, request all then i'm creating the condition so i have email which is this password and active so this is the additional column which I'm checking for. It should be one. If my attempt is successful, then I am redirecting the user to the intended URL or on the home page. Okay. And so the intended is basically if some other login, otherwise other URL, otherwise to the dashboard and then with welcome this, which is the message. So let me check if I have auth okay i'm pulling it auth eliminate okay and if my attempt fails then which means you know the credentials could be wrong then we are redirecting the user back to the login page with this error message now for this error message is to show up i'll need to create a blade file the partial where i'll show all the message so let me go ahead and create that first so inside resources views i'll go into the partials and i will have message dot block dot blade dot php okay and i'll copy paste the code here so yeah um what we are doing here is the first block says if there are errors this will typically happen when you know we have validation errors so we are looping them and we are 
displaying one below the other in an li okay so that's how we get this then we go to the next which is session get success so if we have any welcome you know those welcome messages they are always in session success so i'm checking whether it's an array if it is an array then you know print one by one or else just print the data okay and once that is done the session get error is also the same you know we loop to uh, if it's an array otherwise we print the data yeah that's about it that's how you know the messages will be displayed this is the partial which i'm going to use so now let me see i need to create the master blade i don't have it yet let me check the resources where is it um this is login it's extending master but i don't think i have the master so i'll have to create it yeah so here is my master blade i'll just copy paste the code again quickly so yeah i'm including header which i need to create the block we have created um yielding content uh, which is the section you know, which is going to come here um, if you see my you know the login blade so yeah this is the content which i'm going to yield in that and then the rest are the javascript files which i'm pulling okay so jquery bootstrap and then the main.js the elixir file which is versioned and yeah so the header is also required right so let's quickly create that i'll go into the partials folder and have header dot blade dot php and this is the code where so you can see i have a, a meta tag called csrf token with the token printed out there this i'll be using inside view to pass the csrf token in all my post request uh, because laravel will require that as the you know, middleware is enabled and then the rest are of basically app and font awesome css so now we have the first second uh, routes handle the three are pending let's comment it okay login I'll just remove it for now because that route is not ready so it will throw up an error so let me remove that first and let's run now and see if we can see what's happening now this is slash but we need to put it in auth because you know that's going to be our dashboard so I'll create a route group. I'll pass a middleware here. It will be auth this function and this. Okay. So with that, we are ready to check. Okay. Uh, let me refresh okay i'm still getting it why is this happening i think my session is still on and i need to create the logout because i'm already logged in so okay let's have that url ready first so welcome controller okay we will create our logout method that's going to be a get so not a problem the only thing which we need to do is auth logout and then we will redirect the user okay so return redirect we'll go to the login page that should do so let's now handle the menu because we need a login buttons right sorry the logout button so this is the last one here i will say logout and i'll have the url okay. 
fine so this is done uncommented so three urls are done and hit refresh okay log out so i have the login screen if i go to dashboard i'm redirected back to my login screen okay and let me log in yeah that's how you can log in because i have all the migrations already in place okay so yeah now we will handle the sign up let me go to welcome controller sorry so it's a get url so no request and here i will return uh, what should we do right so this is what we are going to return pages slash sign up okay so create that view pages sign up blade.php and i'll copy paste the code which i have already ready but before we do that we will use the js validation package in this form so that you know we have js validations and we don't need to write them so first let us create a request sign up request okay this is the request which we are going to use along with js validation so inside http uh, where is it requests sign up request this is the you know authorize will decide whether the user can create this request and these are the rules which will run when the validation is done so i'll set the authorize to true anyone can sign up and uh, so and we'll add the rules so but so you know before the rules let's pull out the js validation library i already have a video on this so you know i'll drop a link for that video so that you get a good idea how to use it so yeah you know this is the video which i was talking about i will still i will you know pay give you the url in the description but yeah uh, it will give you a good idea of how we can add those javascript validations without writing a single line of javascript code to any form okay so let's quickly you now add the package and get the form ready in order to start the sign up process so this is my this is the code you know these are the rules display name it is required with minimum characters 3 maximum 255 then we have email which is required and should be email then password required minimum 6 max 16 and confirmed this confirmed will mean that password underscore confirmation should be same as password okay and all typical laravel default validations nothing new in this so yeah uh, these are the validation rules which will be you know uh, uh, which will run and let's now add the package to our installation so this is composer require and this will give us the package so i will install the package and i will come back